If you look closely at the Indiana State Seal over there in that box, you'll see an animal that may surprise you. It's likely a bison, but that would probably be not your first guess. No, absolutely. It surprised me as well when I was doing this story, Raphael. And after being nearly extinct, the bison population is once again on the rise right here in Indiana. Wow. And that's thanks to the work of private farmers. This morning, I'm taking you behind the scenes at one of those ranches. In the rolling hills of Greene County, Indiana, you will find the Red Fraser Bison Ranch, one of this year's featured farmers at the Indiana State Fair. And just outside of Bloomfield, Indiana, you find these 320 acres on the ranch. And on this ranch, approximately 150 bison, making this one of the largest bison farms in Indiana. Zach Martin is not only one of the co-owners of the Red Fraser Bison Ranch, but he's also the president of the Indiana Illinois Bison Association. And for him, it's not only about growing the population of bison, come on girls, but also educating the public. There's a major educational gap. Bison, the animal and bison meat really lack a presence in the eastern part of the United States. We have, you know, an obligation to grow the, the bison presence in Indiana while we're growing the Red Fraser brand. After working in construction, Zach turned his passion for animals and farming into a new career. Starting off with just eight bison through purchase and reproduction, the herd has now grown into what it is today. So we set off into the fields to track the herd down. Now the obvious question I know you're asking, is it safe to be around these animals? We addressed this question with Zach before we ventured into the fields, knowing since they had plenty of space, they would most likely just run away. You have to stay out of their way, for starters. When we're out here in the pasture, um, we're with the animals, you know, I'm not gonna to run up and 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 pet them or you know jump on their back or you know try to have a close you know conversation with them and sure enough shortly after we got out of the truck they took a couple looks at us and they ran away from us and when one runs let me tell you they all run keeping that herd mentality but in the moment of survival there's a trigger something that spooks them or or they want to go that direction and you happen to be standing right there, they're not gonna go around you. The bottom line is you always need to give bison space. If they have that space, they'll usually just move away from you. Unlike cattle, bison are very self-sufficient. Living off the land 24 seven, they are rotated every seven to 10 days into a new pasture, all surrounding a central water station. No matter what the weather is, they're always outside birthing their own calves in the fields as well. They really do a good job of just managing their own diet. They're not force fed in a super confined area. We're just trying to create the environment that they need and then they take care of themselves from there. You have been seeing the Red Fraser breeding herd in this story. However, they also have a market herd as bison meat is quickly growing in popularity as a healthier alternative to red meat. But the reality of it is, is it is a very similar red meat to the beef that everyone is used to and accustomed to. Um, it is actually just a step up. In fact, bison meat is higher in iron and protein while being lower in fat and cholesterol than beef. And if you'd like to try something new, Red Fraser has a roving food trailer that through the duration of the state fair will be parked near Pioneer Village. It gives us the opportunity to present an unfamiliar meat, an unfamiliar protein in a, a familiar form. So I suggest while at the state fair, find the food truck, grab a burger or some dirty tots and try something new if you haven't already. All right, Raphael, in addition to the State Fair, you can find Red Fraser's products. Numerous restaurants here across central mm -hmm. Indiana and butcher shops, and they have their own store in Bloomington as okay. well. And if you want to learn more about bison, and not just how to cook bison and where to get the products, but learn more yeah. about the animals themselves, because that's part of the whole thing as well, you can go to their website, indianabison.com. What was the most fascinating thing you learned about the bison and being on that farm. You know, I learned so much about them. Honestly, how they take care of themselves. You know, unlike cattle, they're not in pens. They're not, you know, going into barns. They're just out in the field all the time, no matter what the weather, they birth their calves on their own. And, you know, you give them what they want, is what Zach told me, and they'll stay. 
and you know there's a fence obviously but he's like we want to get out they're going to get out but if you give them what they want they stay the cool thing about you is that people have to be reminded is that when you were a young kid back in jersey you work with animals. Yeah, you know, it's not new for you. Yeah, you know, I, I grew up. Thing. I grew up with sheep. I grew up with chickens, and so I'm used to being around animals. And I love animals, and so I love doing these farmer stories, and I love doing animals that I don't really know a whole lot about, and I didn't really know much about bison. And Zach taught me a whole lot, and so I went to the state fair last week. I checked out the sheep; they were there. I checked out the cows, and then I went to the Indiana Bison food truck. I think we're gonna get tired. I had the cheesesteak egg rolls, <laughs> I, had, I had a bison burger, and uh, you go check out their food truck. It's near uh, Pioneer Village at the State Fair. Uh, the circle of life. We're gonna get taught a bison <laughs> for Christmas, but in the meantime, let's check your forecast. Uh, uh, I, I can go on and on about, about the bison. We talked about Yellowstone and how some people poke uh, the bison a little too much and get attacked, but you I'm can sure watch they out. want me to move on and not fill the rest of the half hour here with uh, bison stories, but check them out at the Indiana State Fair.